everybody, Nedragun here. I uh, was checking in with you real quick about this PlayStation 5.5 update. Um, if you're having trouble with the update file, which both of my PS4s here had trouble with the update file, you're going to have to do a forced download in safe mode. Um, you have like a 50-50 chance that you can download it to a USB uh, flash drive and then update it that way, but your best bet is to go here into safe mode, and it's 460 megs. Um, it'll probably only take you maybe like a minute or two to download. I had to restart this thing several times, so um, as you can see down here, if you can see, which you probably can't, I had a couple different USB sticks that I tried uh, to do the forced update, and it just would not work. So um, go ahead and press the button on the front of your PlayStation, the power button, to you know when, turn it off. Um, then what you're going to do is hit the power button again to turn it back on. Then you're going to press and hold right after you let go of that first power button and hold it for about five seconds, five hard seconds, like long ones, okay? Like one and two and three and four and five, you know, maybe a little slower. Uh, but once that gets going, uh, you'll get the update uh, option. It'll be the, I believe it's the third option where it says update. And don't choose update from USB unless you have a, uh, a 3.0 USB stick. Otherwise, it'll, it'll, it will error out if it's a 2.0 or earlier. Um, once that gets going, though, you should be fine. And like I said, it, it takes maybe a minute or two if you're on a, a pretty fast connection. Or if you're like on a 10 to 50 meg connection, it may take anywhere from 5 to 10 minutes to get the update file. But um, as you can see, mine's kind of slow. I'm running several devices on the network here, so it's taking a little bit longer than it should. But it will be in safe mode. Uh, just make sure that you don't hit anything like recover or any of these other options because it will wipe out your hard drive. Um, so, yeah, make sure you back up your stuff. So, if you haven't done your backup yet, do your backup first. Um, if you can't do a backup and you don't have a device to backup to, just run the safe mode uh, recovery console, you know, press power, and then press power right after that, and hold it for about five to six seconds um, until it counts in. You'll, you'll hear the second beep. So it'll beep once, and you press it, and then it'll beep again after about five seconds. And once that is uh, going, let go of the power button, and then you'll see that third option to uh, to update the system software, and then choose update from internet. You don't have to worry about changing your internet settings. They should all be locked in. So, yeah, hope that helped. All right? I know everybody's having problems right now with this 5.5 update. Not the 5.0, the 5.5. So, All right, I'll talk to you all later. Have a great one. I guess in all fairness here we could probably let this just run until it's done that way they can see what happens after the safe mode loads back up as far as I can this is a 73 inch TV so it's kind of hard to get it all in one frame here And I do apologize in advance for the video quality here. I'm using one of my older tablets. Let's see if I can refocus the camera here. All right. here real quick and grab this controller oh yeah make sure that you have a controller hooked up to your USB cable um, directly into your the front of your console and then you're gonna press your PlayStation button to turn it on like normal um, so that way it'll pick it up this this will it'll prompt you to do so at the beginning of the update or actually at the beginning of safe mode it'll prompt you so hit update back up a little bit more here it's really hard this cable is only like a maybe a four or five foot cable so I can't really get back as far as I need to right now with it
Sorry about the shakiness here. It's my heartbeat. It's moving the, uh... <laughs> my heartbeat's actually moving the tablet, so it's shaking the frame here. Come on now. Yeah, if you're like me, uh, this update, it, it said it was going, and what I saw is uh, it's trying to reconnect to the server several times to get the actual file itself. And every time it would connect to the server on the PlayStation um I saw my, my notification, it was in my notifications menu on the cross menu bar, but if you go into your notifications panel for a software update, if it's already started, you might see it hanging and then restarting and then hanging and restarting over and over again. It might get a few K started and then it'll dump it and then restart the software download each time. If you see that happening, you're going to need to run the safe mode software update. Um, you can try downloading the file, like I said, onto a 3.0 USB stick. If you don't have a 3.0 USB stick, you will need to ultimately use this um, this method, which will be going to safe mode, and then, like I said before, you're going to press and hold the PlayStation Power button on the console, and then press it right again, and hold it for about five seconds until you hear the second beep and that will take you back into the safe mode and data recovery menu. You're going to choose option 3 and then I believe it was option 3 again for connect to the internet. What happened to my third camera? I had another camera up here. Come on. Just waiting for the first boot here on the 5.5. Okay. It's testing. Wow. This is the first time I've ever had this happen to this degree. I don't know if, it was, if it's because they've written in the PS4 Pro and the PS4 Standard and Slim functions into the same update, but I noticed ever since like the 4.5 update that there's been a lot of system issues happening. And I've seen it tanking a lot more, like total just crash. Um, since the 5.0 was released, it crashed even more than the 4.5 in, re in later releases. But whatever Sony did up until 4.0 to 4.5, something changed in their architecture, the way that they got this all set up, and it is just destroying consoles. Um, I don't know if they're doing it deliberately so they can force everybody to a pro, and kind of phase out the uh, first gen and second gen PS4 systems for these consoles that are out. It's a good way to get somebody pretty upset, though, you know. Okay, so wow, getting a database rebuild, huh? Wow, <clears throat> that's my daughter's login. Okay, let's try this again. You see my beautiful wife there on the picture. All right. Let's just go ahead and verify real quick here. I'm trying to do this all one-handed. See if it logs me in. 
Yep, I'm signed in now. Storage, system software update. Yep, we've already got 5.0. And just to verify one more time, you go down here to system, system information. There you go. This is our VR system, so we got 5.5 on here. Everything's looking good. Now there should be some other options in here. Um, I don't think it was playback. I think it was sound and screen. And what did that say? The connected PlayStation VR processor unit does not support HDR pass-through. Oh, that's right. Okay, so yeah, I have a first-gen VR, and here it says that there is no HDR pass-through. Let me try setting this to HDR here. TV does not support it. So yeah, I can't do it on this TV. Well, that's a bitch. Well, I hope that that helped. Um... Any of you that are stuck, shoot me a message if you want, and I will help you out. Just, my tag is right there. There's my screen name. If you want to use it, you can go ahead and pull me up. So, Love you guys. Thanks for tuning in. Bye.